What's up everybody? My name is Jacob Collier. I'm a singer, producer, multi-instrumentalist, arranger from London. And uh, Esquire has asked me today to explain a few of my most favorite objects in the whole entire universe. And I have some here prepared for you. I'm very excited. Let's get started. You know what I'm gonna start with is, I'm gonna start with these. So in my humble opinion, the greatest purchase of 2020 of mine was these. These are my tie-dye Crocs fur lined. They keep my feet warm in the snow in the sunshine and they have taken me all over the world and it's been such a privilege to have them in my life and I'm very very grateful for them. And the other thing I was going to say was you may be interested to know that this croc which is the left croc has its own Instagram page. Jacob underscore croc is this croc and so follow along for all the adventures. Next up is this and I keep this in a small velvet bag because it's ultra important. I learned music in this room. This is the room that I learned to walk in also when I was like one year, one year old. So it's a really, really important and special room for me. And until I was 19 years old, everything I recorded and every single instrument I recorded, so drums, guitar, vocals, bass, all recorded through one microphone. It's the only microphone I owned. And it's this microphone, my SM58, sure SM58. And it smells so damn good. And there's something about the smell of my SM58, which is very comforting to me. It's not like the world's fanciest microphone, but it sure does a good job and it helps me capture so much. I still record with it today, but you know, that, that magical era, sort of my teens, this dominated my life. So thank you, SM58. As we're talking about gear, this here, <laughs> it may not look like much, but this was the MIDI controller that took me through my life. Uh, I made an album called In My Room. It's my first album, my debut album, and it was recorded in this very room. Everything was recorded basically on that SM58 and a couple of other microphones, and this MIDI keyboard was all the instruments, basically, other than the instruments I was playing. So all the synthesizers and, and patches and MIDI and everything was done on this, and it's, it's, it's kind of cheap and it's a bit janky. But it's been through everything with me. I've taken it on aeroplanes and on tour and on trains. It's a very beautiful beastie and I'm very grateful. So thank you, M Audio keyboard. And here is the M Audio keyboard. So I made this album called In My Room. And then in 2017, which was the year after, much to my flabbergastedness, I was nominated for two Grammys, which I ended up winning actually, which is the whole thing was quite bananas. But when I went to the Grammys in 2017, it was a very, very crazy moment for me. And the jacket that I wore to that particular Grammys, which is this jacket here, will always have a very special place in my heart. But I'll, I'll, I'll put it on right now. And it's just a jacket. And it's funny because I don't wear jackets very often. I normally wear like big comfortable clothes with lots of colors on them. <laughs> Look at me. Oh. But here we go, me in my Grammy outfit. But I can get the Grammys that I want and then we can do a whole, Hey, thank you. Look, here are the Grammys. <laughs> I feel like I did when I was 21. <laughs> so there you go. Grammys in the Grammy jacket. <laughs> so this here is called a gumbri. And a gumbri is a Moroccan, uh, I suppose it's a lute really, but it's, it's basically a bass instrument. And you play it by kind of knocking on the skin and, and playing the strings. I am a very, I'm a very bad gumbrist, but um, there's something very sacred about the sound of this instrument. And I, I got it uh, from my very dear friend Hamid El Kasseri, who's a very, very legendary Kanawa musician. And Kanawa is a beautiful, beautiful kind of ancient uh, style of music that comes from Morocco. I collaborated with Hamid El Kasseri on my Jesse project, which is a quadruple album of mine that I'm working on right now. It's so dear to me because Kanawa music is some of my most favorite music in the world. And this is a, a kind of at, at the heart of it. This is my harpeggi. <laughs> And harpeggios are quite far and few between, um, but they're really, really magnificent beasts. And it has lots of strings. And the way you actually play it, and I'm not gonna be able to play it standing up like this, but you play it by tapping on the strings like this. Like that, that's how it works. And obviously you plug it in and it sounds way better <laughs> than that. But this is my very own one and it has my JC logo here. And so I really, really treasure this very, very much and it looks like this. And I can't wait to take this guy on the road because he has such bassy strings. And I get the feeling like in big venues with subs, it's gonna sound like. When I first started touring, it was very exciting and I'm quite an introvert. And I'm very used to working here inside the room and concentrating on little ingredients that go within things. But touring is all about energy going out. 
and it was so exciting for me and I learned so much from standing on stages and just being Jacob and at the beginning I used to think I had to pretend to be somebody else like an extroverted version of myself but I've since realized that you just need to be you at all times when I first started touring I toured with a one-man show so it's just me in the center of a circle of musical instruments about 10 of them a bit like the room I suppose all around me and for every single one-man show that I did and I think it was about 250 I did in total I wore these and these are just really 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 comfortable harem pants that I put on and this was every every single gig every gig I ever did with one show was, was using these they, they feel like pajamas when you put them on they feel great so when I was uh, 20 so six years ago I was walking down the road in Los Angeles California with a good friend of mine whose name is Genevieve and we, we spotted this bear hat in, in a window of a shop it was like a hat that had these little bear ears it was just such a great hat but it was $36 and so I was like, oh, well, it's great. it's great, it's expensive, but you know. And Genevieve said, if I buy that hat for you, then you have to wear it every single day of your life. And I said, okay. So she bought the hat for me and I wore it every single day of my life until I lost it at the Grammys in 2017. It was a devastating day. It was also quite a good day, but it was devastating as well because that bear hat took me through everything. And I haven't been able to find exactly the same hat ever again, but I decided to make my own bear hat, which I wear quite a lot of the time. And I'm hoping to actually start selling these in the world at some point, but this is it. This is, this is the bear hat. And it's, it's I mean, I know I, I, if I say so myself, it's, it's divine. And there's a few different modes. So mode number one is this. Very warm, very, very convincing. And then you can also wear it inside out. And that's like even warmer on the interior. And on the exterior, you've got these like birds flying around. It's great. But then my favorite way to wear the hat is actually if you tie these up on the top like this, then you get both. And that's cool because my ears are protected and it looks kind of cool. So this is it, this is the hat and it's my hat and it's the only one that exists in the world right now but I'm hoping that there will be more hats on the way. Okay, so um, folks, what can I say? Thank you very much for hanging out with me in my little music room here in North London. Uh, thank you for putting up with my weird and wonderful belongings. I don't know if you wanted to know about them but now you do. I've always found this room a very special place to be but I've really felt even more than normal just how important it is to have a safe space that you call home. And so I'm very, very grateful for that. So thank you to this room as well for just being around me. See you all very soon. Lots of love. Catch you later. Cheers.